we understand that our molecule will be bombarded by a high energy of electron to form a fragment and commonly it is a cation and a radical. Bond breaks will give the most stable cation and stability of the radical is less important. This is the fragmentation pattern where the molecule has been written down in the form of radical cation and it shows us a different fragment. This fragment based on the fragmentation peak in the mass spectrum. Before we can write down the fragmentation pattern, we have to consider a certain characteristic, which is the mass loss of 14 CH2 from M plus is extremely rare, and the carbocation or radical tend to loss of longest rather than the long, the shortest. For example, tertiary is more preferable than secondary, followed by primary, methyl, and the hydrogen. Fragment of cation stability will be takes as precedent over the radical, and vinyl radical loss is not favorable, but it is possible. Other consideration we should take is several fragments can occur, especially if it lack to a highly stabilized cation or radical. If lots of stable neutral molecule, it is possible, for example, for alkene, water, and carbon monoxide. Probability of cleavage is related to the bond strength and stability of fragments. Let's see the fragmentation mechanisms that commonly used. There are two common mechanisms that have been used, which are homolytic and heterolytic. We see what is homolytic mechanism of fragmentation. This one homolytic, the example shown in this chemical equation, one. It means homolytic is one electron transfer at a time. So you can see the arrow here is half. So it means only one electron has been transferred here. So one electron has been transferred in the middle here and one electron from this bond has been transferred here. So this bond now become a double bond. And one electron here transfer out to be the to this CH3 and this CH3 has been released as a radical. Now this part becomes the cation. These three processes with the transfer of electron, one electron is called as homolytic cleavage. Next example is a heterolytic cleavage, the common things mechanism that have been used in the fragmentation. What is heterolytic? The transfer of two electrons at a time. So it means both electrons have been transferred here and this break had been bought. This bond had been break and this one had left as cation and this part become radical. We see this video for further details about the mechanism. Let's look at several mechanisms. So this is the mechanism for the mass fragmentation. So before we can start writing down the mechanism, we have to locate the radical ion first. So how we can locate the radical cation? Here is given the neutral molecule when bombarded by the electron we form cation or radical cation. Based on this radical cation, how we can write down through this example? Where's the radical cation symbol we should written down? Here, here, or here? So based on this, there are two rules that we need to consider. The first rule, we have to select the electron is removed from a high energy orbital 
this example sp is more likely than sp2 and the below one is less likely so in this case the second point is we have to find the atom with the high density of electron in this case there are two criteria fulfilled by this atom which is sp2 and this oxygen is high density of electron so if have to be written here in this case there are no sp2 so we have to choose the atom with a high density of electron that's why the radical chaotic cation have been written here for these cases this one is sp2 that's why we are written down the radical cation here and it also can be written down either in the middle of the benzene ring like this radical cation so this is the first step, we have to write down where is the radical cation, symbol should be placed in our molecule. Next, we will see the two main fragmentation mechanism that I said just now, which is heterolytic and homolytic. We see the first example for heterolytic. Heterolytic means two electrons have been transferred out in one process. So in this case, example is this chlorine organic compound and this electron will be transferred out both and the arrow show is full arrow so in this case this part will left a cation and this one will be the radical so the attraction is based on the high density of electron so the heterolytic cleavage also known as inductive cleavage so this mz value will appear in the mass spectrum this one is not appear. Next example, we can see this ether compound. This ether compound, it can cleave either side. So in this case, I show you this side first. Sorry, this side first. And based on this side, and this part will become a radical, and this part remain as a cation. This part as remain cation will be detected in the mass spectrum and we can see the mass peak, the fragmentation peak. And this one is a radical, we cannot see in any of the mass spectrum peak. The next example for the same structure, it can be cleaved on this side. So here we can return down the mechanism of the cliff on this side. So when you cliff on this side, this part will become a radical and this part will become the cation. So this one is appear in the mass spectrum and this one will remain as a radical. Although radical is not shown in the mass spectrum, we, see, we, we still need to write down in the mechanism. Next example is alpha cleavage or known as homolytic cleavage. It involves three electron process whereas the arrow is half. It will show the arrow of for single electron movement half. So we have to place the alpha position and beta position first. Where to put the alpha position? We have to know that the first carbon of the functional group will become the alpha position and the next carbon become a beta. So the cleavage is in between. So it's called as alpha cleavage. Here also, it becomes a alpha cleavage. It also can be break. And the transfer in electron, one radical here we transfer in the middle and one in the bonding here we transfer and this bond become double bond and this part we release as a radical. And this part remain is remain as a cation and will be detected in by the mass spectrum and it will appear in the in appear in the mass spectrum. This one will not appear. This is also known as a alpha cleavage. Next example, this ether is also rather than it can happen the the first uh, heterolytic is also can go for the homolytic. So we have to place the alpha and beta position. This is the functional group. This is the alpha and this is the beta. So it can be cleaved here, here or here. 
So in this case, I give you the example how it live here. So in this case, the radical have been transferred here, the one uh, electron here, and then this part will become double bond, and this one electron will be released, and this part will become a radical. And this cation will be detected, and the radical are not detected, but it still need to be written down in the mechanism of the application. Okay, this is the cation. You have to write down the cation symbol. So, and also the radical. Next example. Will be the. So, it shows you how the double bond is formed here. The green one shows you the double bond. So, next example is the group of carbon. Oh, sorry, group of uh, carboxyl group which is we have to place the alpha and beta position first ok so this is the alpha position and this is beta so here the electron has been transferred and one now this one become triple bond this one will be this as a radical and this will be the thing the ion that have been detected in the mass spectrum and this one has been released as a radical So this one, the one had been written that with the MZ is appear in the mass spectrum. Okay, that's all for today's lesson about the mechanism and the fragmentation pattern. We continue with the next session. Thank you.